Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to discover a woman's weakness. Now, I want you guys to be careful with this. And I'm, and I'm being serious about it. Be, in every group, there's always somebody that, that takes it too far. Okay? Don't go too far with this. Because there's, there's always somebody, there's always a psychopath that abuses women. And I'm not a fan of that, to be honest with you. I mean, that should be fucking obvious, right? We're, we're all, in fact, not all of us are not a fan of that. But there's always a small minority. And I'll give you a warning. Be careful how you do this. Because if you do this on a woman, sometimes opening up certain things, you don't want to open up. All right? So be careful with this. All right, don't forget, we're having a seminar. And we're having, I'm having a retreat in Mexico, just to let you guys know. If you guys want to go, check the description down below. All right, so the first one is this. Pay attention to a woman's gestures and unconscious signals. Whenever you talk about a topic, notice, pay more attention to a woman's tone of voice, gestures, than her own words herself. If she says, yeah, my father wasn't. If you, if you say, hey, Melissa, how was, how, um, do you know your dad? And she's like, um, yeah, yeah, I know my dad, yeah. Boom, now you know weakness. You know she has a bad relationship with her dad. Why? Because she said, I know my dad. But what really communicated? Right? That, that, yeah, I know my dad. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's like, no, no, no. Like, the, the tone of voice. If you didn't know words and you only understood my body language, hmm, you would know, oh, shit, it's not a good relationship with the dad, right? Pay attention to a woman's gestures and tone of voice the, on, 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 um, when certain topics come up, right? Because then you, you, because then you know that she, she doesn't have a dad. Find out why the dad, why the relationship is bad with the dad, and then you take that, take up and take on the role of the dad. You begin to give her what her dad was wasn't giving her. If she says her dad didn't didn't make you feel special, her dad never told her she was good. You begin complimenting her on that. Now that might go against my videos that say don't compliment a woman, but I am telling you, when a woman doesn't, when a woman was never given, was never satisfied by her dad in terms of emotion, and you begin to give her, she will regress to her childlike state. And when I mean regress, I mean she'll be submissive. That means that she'll act like a little girl around you. That means she'll act very feminine around you, all right? That's the first one. Pay attention to gestures. Second one, find the helpless child, like I said. Find out what, 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 um, what digress, not digresses her, what, um, what do you, what, what's that word called? What, um, fuck me. What's that word called whenever you, to the editor, don't add this in. Um, I'm trying to find out what it is. Yeah, it regresses her, okay? Finding the helpless child in a woman regresses her. So find out what are the things that she has that causes her. Let me, let me read this, editor. Don't, don't add this. So... The next one is finding the helpless child. So every single person, right? Every one of our weaknesses were developed when we were children, okay? And whenever you touch on certain topics, okay? Or whenever you talk about certain things, you'll notice that the, that the person begins to act like a child. It could be any topic. Find out what is a topic that when you talk about that topic, they begin to act like a child, So what you could begin to do is find out about this person's past. Try to find out as much about this person's childhood. Like how was the relationship with their parents? Um, 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 how was the relationship with their siblings? What did they lack as children? It goes along with the last one when in terms of like, like finding out, looking at the person's gestures and all that sort of stuff. But, but this, the last one was more about paying attention to the gestures and, and, and non-verbal cues. But this was more about exploring the past, right? Find out what they lacked in their past as children. Be on the lookout for any behavior that you think they should have outgrown. If the person never had parental love, provide it. If the person, when they were a child, were always were always um were were always sheltered and lived a very boring lifestyle, provide her the adventure. That will regress her. And when a person gets regressed, they'll begin to act like a child and for women in a feminine way around you. 
because you'll be the father figure that she never had. The next one. Look for contrast. Whenever you see a woman that's too feminine or the opposite, just realize that, 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 the, that, that, the, that the complete opposite is right behind you. Whenever you see a woman who is really shy, just realize that there's a part of her that wants to be super extroverted. Whenever you see a woman that is, that, that, that is um, passive, just realize that there is somebody that's passive aggressive deep inside of her. Right? And then you can use it against them. So if she's super shy, all you got to do is be the outgoing one. Be the one that's more charismatic. And she'll begin to look up to you because you're, you're somebody that she wants to be. If she's somebody that has no ambitions, you'll be the one that has the ambition. Because then she'll begin to see herself in you because she wants to be that. Look for the contrast. Anything that you see, if she's somebody that's super orderly, that, that always fixing shit, that always needs to have everything clean, for temporarily, take her on a vacation. Take her on something that requires her to be a little messy, that requires her not to be as orderly. Give her a taste of the opposite of what you see. You want to probe appearances. Look beyond the appearances that a woman gives you. If she's super professional, she wants a little bit of irrationality, right? If she's super orderly, she wants a little bit of chaos in her life. Provide it to her. But the only way to find out that she wants chaos is by looking at the contrast, realizing that not everything that shines is gold. Next one. And, and look for uncontrollable emotions. Now look, every woman in her past has, has certain emotions that she cannot control. And sometimes all you got to do is ask them, what's an emotion you can't control? Sometimes that's, that's enough, to be honest with you. Sometimes that's enough. Sometimes what, if you could just ask somebody, like, what's something that, what, what's an emotion that you always felt when you were a child that you didn't like? Like, find out what were the reoccurring emotion in their childhood and in their relationship that brings them the most unhappiness. It's that simple. If they're, if, if they're somebody, if they're envy, if they're like an envious, if they're envious or jealous, then all you got to do is, is, is from time to time introduce another woman, talk about other women, and that jealousy in that person will cause her to want to possess you. For some women, it could be that she's that 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 most of her boyfriends left her, that her dad wasn't there. So her uncontrollable emotion is the fact that she cannot feel, she does not like the feeling of being abandoned. From time to time, then you begin to pull away. And 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 and, and if she was a and, and if she was a child and she had another sibling similar to her age or even younger, then for some children it's jealousy. Then all you gotta do is play on the jealousy card. You see what I'm saying? Simply by talking about other women causes, flares up that kind of jealousy and envy. If she's a woman that focuses on her appearance and is always working out, always trying to look good, which is nothing wrong with that, always trying to look the, the best out of everybody, clearly there's some insecurity behind that. Find out who does she envy? What does she envy? What causes her the most unhappiness? You get what I'm saying? And all of those things was revealed to you a woman's weakness. Or you could just find out what did her exes do in the past that caused her to hurt. What were the things that she was able to tolerate from her exes? All of those things, if you pay attention to all of the things I told you, you'll get a map of a woman's weakness. And you can easily just turn it, spin it around, move it around to your liking. But you guys got to be careful with this because this is very manipulative and very wrong because this is what pimps do. Pimps find out what is your weakness and they provide it to you. 
And, and what pimps do is that pimps specifically look for women who didn't have a father figure. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? They look for people who didn't have a father figure, so then they become the father figure. And that's how they have full, complete control. Because not every woman could be pimped. She has to have a weakness. And, then, and, 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 and a good pimp knows, a, knows the women who can, he can pimp and the women who he cannot pimp. But what people have to realize is that there's an overabundance of pimpable people out there. It's fucked up. It's fucked up shit, man. I'm telling you guys. Guys, if you guys want to learn these dark tactics, check out my course, Dark Game. All right, guys? Um, this is your toxic dating coach. Stay toxic.